much, Jim Hutchins, for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report. I'd like to briefly revisit the uh, tragedy of Newtown, Connecticut. This was indeed a, an event that I thought the governor best described when he said, evil visited us today. This was an act of evil personified. Uh, it's evil that cannot be rehabilitated, it cannot be uh, managed, it cannot be uh, deterred. Uh, none of that works with evil. And <clears throat> I know that the families there are struggling with their, they're paralyzed, I should say, with grief and anguish and sorrow. How do they deal with it? I heard one man say on television who had, his daughter had been at Columbine, his family of faith, <clears throat> and uh, before his daughter was shot, the shooter asked her, her name was Rachel, said, Rachel, do you believe in God? She said yes, and he blew her away. <clears throat> you don't negotiate. You don't rehabilitate that kind of evil. It is wickedness to the core. Uh, the man was asked, who'd lost his daughter, said, how, how would you deal with these people in Newtown, Connecticut? He said, you can't go in there as a stranger and say anything. But he said, once you have an opportunity, you can encourage them. They have to see this and go through it. Not look at it, but look through it, look beyond it. Now, I was reminded of the words concerning Jesus in Hebrew where it says, For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame. He knew what was ahead. He saw through it. He saw beyond it. And he knew the joy that would be there. And that's what we have to do. And that's what these people at, uh, in Newtown will have to do. But at the same time, they're asking, why, God? Why did you allow this? Where were you in all this? And, of course, we always ask that in a time of tragedy. Where's God? Where was God in Columbine? Where, where was God in the uh, place where the shooter goes into the movie house in Colorado and shoots all these people? Where was God in the Holocaust? And where is God, certainly, as we speak, when the Christians are being slaughtered all over the world, where is God? Well, God is in heaven, no question about it. But God doesn't answer most of the why questions. But he does give promises, extraordinary promises of his presence, of his provision, of his power, of his sustaining grace. And that's what we rely on. <clears throat> I must say, as I listened to this, what was going on in Newtown, as we were all glued to the television on it, I couldn't help but think that what is, has gone on and is going on as we speak in Israel. Since it became a nation 64 years ago, it has been threatened every day of that existence by somebody trying to kill them, either by a missile, uh, or a, uh, some kind of a bomb, a suicide bomber. And they'll go into restaurants and schools and wherever they can, they'll do this. And their sole goal is to kill mercilessly children and women and whoever's out there. And not only that, but they'll use their own children and their own women as shields against any attack against them. What cowardice. What wickedness, what evil to the core. But that's what's happening. And I must say, this is going to happen until Messiah comes. Unfortunately, it's in the world. And it will be here until it is totally destroyed. And that will be. Listen to the words concerning Jesus in Revelation chapter 19. Speaking of the Messiah, when he comes, he is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. 
The armies of heaven were following him, riding on white horses dressed in fine linen, white and clean. Out of his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of Almighty God. On his robe and on his thigh he has the name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Evil will be subdued and destroyed when the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords reigns. Not until then. Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy, as we've seen. This is satanic, what has taken place in Newtown. But greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. So until next week, Christmas Day, Ode Key of Oshilo, or until Messiah comes, Shalom Aleichem, and have a blessed Christmas.